Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel, Vintage Jewelry Galore, where I show and sell beautiful jewelry. If it's your first time here, welcome. Thank you for clicking on my video. I hope you'll stick around and watch it. Today, I'm going to show beautiful jewelry I picked up at local thrift stores and an antique mall this week. I have numerous pieces. I have some pearls, um, some Native American, some Tasco, um, some I don't know yet, it's Judith Jack. Weiss, Joan Rivers, um, Cora, a beautiful Cora set, some beautiful crystal, some Saras gave a little bit of everything. A portion of this will be pre-sold. If you're interested, you will email me at vintagejewelrygaloreyahoo.com. And I do pre-sell to anybody. Um, I sell, I will ship all over the world. I have no problem with that. So if you see something you want, just email me. I think I already said the email, right? It's vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. The email is always down in the description section or the more section, however it's labeled on your device. Um, and yeah, just email me if you want something. I do PayPal invoicing, which is secure for both you and me. And uh, let me get started. I will let you know what I'm going to sell and what I won't. The items I won't, I'll put over here and I'll clearly tell you I'm saving it. The ones that will be pre-sold will go on this side. Now I set up a sterling silver pearl stone tray and I have a costume. <clears throat> I'm going to mix it up, okay? Let me start with this. I've never seen one of these. Um, I believe this is Vermeer. I have to test it. This is Judith Jack. I have to test it a little bit better to make sure it is. It is heavy and so forth. Marcosites. This is a large pin. This is a vintage Judith Jack. 18 karat uh, gold over the sterling. I do have to put it through further testing. I don't want to scratch it up too bad. Look at that. It's big. That's like a three inch at least. Judith Jack. Never seen one of those. Let's start off with that. Sterling silver. I'm going to keep that because I want to research it. Okay, I need to figure out what it is. I have this Sopata. This is sterling. I thought it was nice. I like the chain. And there's the Sopata tag. You see right there. And hopefully my nails look all right. I did just scrub them briefly. Um, <laughs> sterling links. Look how nice that is. And then you have this big pendant down here. Sopata piece. It's nice. A little scroll work there. It's really long as well, as you can see. That's so hot, huh? Let me get something off the costume. Look at this Cora set. This is coming Monday. These are getting harder and harder to come by. They're a little rarer every day. Oh, what did I just draw? Cora earring. I got it. This is beautiful. This is AB and Claire Rhinestone's beautiful set. Um, it is Coro, signed Coro on the J hook, as you can see, it's upside down, but you still see that. And it's pretty, like a Y down there, there's the chain. Let me hook it up, okay. So I have the beautiful necklace and a really, really lovely pair. Um, <laughs> are these? Wait a minute. Interestingly, this is Lisner and Coro, but <laughs> they match pretty well. These are Lisner and these are Coro. Now, they were paired up together. I'm sorry I didn't realize that. That clearly says Coro there, right? Yeah, C-O-R-O. -O. But anyways, I'll be bringing it and offering it as a set because it does. The person who wore it must have wore it together. It matches well. You know, you have the, the AB uh, rhinestones. And pretty. This necklace is pretty. I'm going to bring it Monday. I'm going to sew it as a set still. Why not? Um, but it's no, it's a Coro and a Lisner. Both vintage about the same time period. You know, fifth, late, mid to late 50s to 60s on that. I think it's pretty. That's interesting. Um, this is cute. Joan Rivers. Look how cute that is. I like it. Flower power. Sign Joan Rivers, metal, enamel. There's a little wearing there. It's not really noticeable, though. Little polka dotted flower. It's about a two, two and a half inch flower. That was just the sides. It's not even, okay. I thought that was cute. 
Um, I have a Mylar Italy bronze cuff. This is really nice. It looks average size, maybe a little bit over. I could give measurements if anybody contacts me when I'm um, ever. It's like a two and three quarters, so it's a little bigger. Um, look, just um, over my hand easily. It is signed over here. Myler Italy. Oh, bronze Myler Italy right there. It's a nice bracelet. Let me show you. Oh, look at this. This is from Monday. This is amazing. This is a vintage signed sterling on the one side. Right over here. Pearl clasp at sterling. And then you have these beautiful alternating purple and clear rhinestones. And look at the caps, how they fashioned the caps on that. They are actually beautiful half of like bicone. Um, this is a, this is Monday. This is a beautiful necklace. Um, <clears throat> purple and clear crystal. And it's absolutely amazing. I like the caps of being, you have the two purple over the clear and a large purple ring, um, crystals on there. That's a really beautiful necklace. I'll bring that Monday. <clears throat> Look, I thought this was pretty. This is a vintage um, moon glow bracelet, fold over clasp. One, two, three, seven panel vintage piece. It's pretty well made. It's probably about seven inches. Oh, this kind of looks long. It's almost, wait, it's, it's almost eight inches, actually. And then you have, um, these are big. This is a bigger bracer, two inches. And that's Moon Glow, probably Lucite, Moon Glow Lucite. Fold over clasp, um, has a nice plating over it, the metal. And I think it's a nice panel bracelet. Let me pull something out of here. I have um, these earrings, and I don't know who the maker is. I put them on the identification website on Facebook where they help you identify maker marks. I don't know who that maker is. It's an M. These are really pretty. I'll figure it out. It looks like a V and an M, kind of, or an M, V. Sterling silver. Let me... them up and show them to you why not these are beautiful kind of sculptural looking they're they are sterling they say that on the clap on the pin part on here and i tested both parts and it's coming out of sterling sometimes you, you have to scrape a small dark line especially on the newer stones um but they're beautiful and i i, I hope to find out who the maker is if anybody knows let me know See that? I they look they're very designer. I I don't know who that that's too big. Like being done on eight. Nice so I'm bringing them Monday because I gotta figure out who they are. Beautiful though, they're about two inches in a drop. One and three they're one and three quarters. They're very nice actually. Sterling silver, uh somebody, some designer that I don't know, but I will after couple of days here beautiful I think this is very lovely this is antique sterling silver and that is glass I think it's very pretty bought this at the antique ball actually it's nice it's glass pretty I thought it was beautiful um, I thought these were interesting. These are very long. I'm just going to hold them in my hands. I have to look at them for maker's marks. Look, they have, there's, you know, the part that goes in your ear. And then, look like a little bean kind of or something. I'm going to keep these because I need to research and then sell them, not keeping them. I just want to research them. Put them under a 25 magnifying glass. I thought they were nice. Um, let me get something off the costume because there's a lot. Um, I love this necklace. This is Kate Spade. I sold earrings that look like this to somebody not long ago. Look how amazing that. I think that's amazing. Look at the box. Like, I'll call it the box chain. This is a Kate Spade, New York, I think. Yeah, Kate Spade, New York. 
you have that marking and you have the spade and it is a lobster claw clasp and gold plating and very lovely lucite that probably glows like the earrings that I sold. I don't have a magnifying glass for me. It doesn't matter unless you're going to the skate park or disco, right? Very nice Kate Spade piece though. Gold plating, lucite, fully pronged, well-made, lovely multiple shapes. It's nice. I think it is. And I did sell the earrings not long ago. I have this. Kind of looks like a set. Kind of not. But look. I went A, B crazy. <laughs> this is a fancy uh, rhinestone um, push box clasp. Double strand A, B crystal. Look how pretty. It's a little shorter. Um, but look how nice that looks. Look how nice that sets. Beautiful. Double strand. Lovely. I think it's about an 18 inch or it's a little short. Maybe 16. 15. Let's open it. The shortest strand because it says two strands. You never... Yeah, it's right around 15 inches. Beautiful. Beautiful necklace. 15 inches. And then uh, kind of matches in a way because it has fancy clasp, but it's three strands of AB. And you have to push box clasp again. Let me measure it. Just, it's seven inches on that. I thought it was nice. Yeah. Me, my AB. This is nice. I don't know who the maker is on this. I tried looking her up. It's not a big maker or anything, but it's a beautiful bracelet. I really like this bracelet. Hold on, let me show it. It's costume, I think. I didn't test it. It looks like costume. I can scratch it to make sure. Let me see if there's any markings. Well, there's this. Elise Marie, I think. Or Olivia Marie is the maker, okay? And I thought it was really, really nice. Like, these are fully pronged. Look how pretty those are. It's a nice bracelet costume, I believe. Yeah, I don't think it's sturdy. You have an extender on it that is uh, almost two inches. The total length is eight and a half. So six to like eight and a half inches. It can be worn. You could go out. That little heart, a lobster claw. It's a beautiful bracelet, I think. I'm going to save this one for Monday as well. <clears throat> this is a Cora. Right, let's make sure. <laughs> Give me a minute. Okay, it is Cora, science, C O R O. This is nice, I think. Look, I've, it's a unique, it's, it's a vintage Cora necklace. It has a fold over clasp, sign Cora. Those are the ends. It's a nice gold plated piece. Look. I'm hanging it wrong, probably. You have to make sure you hang it right to sh There you go. So, that'd go up there, or the clasp is, like, right there. So, it'd lay on you like that on an actual body. Nice. It's a nice necklace. I'm saving that. Let me get another costume because there's so much. Swarovski. I'll pre-sell this. I know how to price these easy. I give a good price on them too if you bought them for me before you know. This is a nice high-end Swarovski piece. This is Swan Sign. A little Swan Sign. does have the Swan Hang Tag. And these are beautiful black. Gold plated. This is a long one. This one is... They come in all different ways. This one's 38 inches, and it's beautiful, and I have it doubled up. Nice Swarovski. Really nice necklace. I was happy to find that. All right, let's go back to the... I have this. This is beautiful. This is signed down here. We are 950 Mexico TC 264. This is um, Malachite in 950 silver. Uh, clamper. Let me measure it. My wrist is a six and an eighth. It is almost at three, so a bigger wrist could wear it. Um, or smaller, you can like move it up and down. Let's see how, like, I have it on down there. That's nice. So that's for Monday. It is nine fifty. Uh, silver Mexico. You know, nine fifty is a little better. Nine two five. A spring clamper is what it's called. It's the it's malachite. She's gonna hold that. Um, I found some nice Native American rings. This one's amazing. Look at that. 
And I have my ring size right here. This is for Monday. This is unsigned. This is vintage. I think 1960s. Seven, oh, and it's bigger. It's for Monday. It is a size 10. It's an amazing piece of turquoise. Let me show it close. Don't mind the hands. Beautiful turquoise. Look at it. Tr triple shank. Unsigned Native American. Vintage Native American ring. A size 10. I really like it. It's big on that finger a little bit. Like right around a 10. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I was happy to find it. It's nice. And it is an unsigned one. It's older. I found this one as well. It looks like baby, like a robin egg. This one is signed and it has a maker's mark. Let me show it. Try to show it to you in here. Um, we have... I don't know if it's an eagle or what. Let me show you. It's sterling. Does that look like an eagle? I can't. I can probably clean this up a little bit. It's sterling that way. Maybe it's supposed to be turned this way. I don't know. It's absolutely beautiful, though. Look at this turquoise in there. It's really nice. It's a nice color of turquoise. Um, and this is, this is big, almost like it's longer than that one. It's over an inch on this, the going up and down. It's really nice. It's not real big though. It's an inch and a, an inch and a half on the face almost. It's a little smaller. It's right. Oh, and I didn't think it was that small. Yeah, it's small. <laughs> it's like a five, barely five. I couldn't pass it up though. Um, it's beautiful, and I have people with smaller fingers, or you can wear it as a pinky. It's a four and three quarters. It's a tiny little ringlet. It's not quite a five. Yeah, it's four and three quarters. It's beautiful turquoise. It is, again, triple shank, and I showed you the marking. That's a nice ring. All right. I have, this is garnet and um, sterling silver on my I guess I'm back down to, yeah. Uh, sterling and garnet. It's dark. It's longer. Let me give you a measurement. I'm saving this for Monday. I want to research those rings a little bit, okay? I got two beautiful mother of pearls, too. On, on, on marked, they're, they're older. This is a seven, like a, a seven and a half to an eight and a quarter something like that because you have a little extender on there but it's sterling it is signed just 925 i think <clears throat> sterling silver and garnet i think it's a nice necklace this is antique i believe this is a little bar pin i think that is i'm not sure what the stone is i have to look at it um but you have Definitely vintage, maybe it's not antique, but sterling silver. I thought it was nice. All right, let me see what else I have in here. I thought this was beautiful. Look how pretty. Molded glass and like caps all over it. There's the molded glass. Um, it's all glass and you have caps. There is no clasp on this. It's a long necklace. You have like the designing going on there. I thought it was nice, so I grabbed it. It's a long necklace. Look how cute this is. Goddess, Hindu goddess. I don't know which one, but faceted glass and little rhinestone rondelles, and then you have her on there. It's a pretty little stretch bracelet. I think it's cute. I thought it was cute. So I grabbed it. What else do I have? I have this big marvelous brooch that has one stone. It's a little dark. But it's unmarked. There's the back. This is about three inches or so. I mean, you're a little smaller, not or so. It's not any bigger. It is like a little over two. I exaggerated there. Um, but fully pronged, a little dark there on that stone. The rest are perfect. There's some emerald cut squares and round. 
and beautiful slightly domed nice pleating in the back beautiful brooch i think i couldn't pass it up even though it was a little dark i these are bronze and um i thought these were really nice i didn't test the metal on i'm gonna clean them up a little bit i didn't test the metal on the wires but these are pearls look you've got crystals and pearls peacock pearls and they're bronze and i don't know what this metal is i'll look at it but i thought they were nice bronze could use a cleanup but nice pair of earrings i thought those are overall pearls and they're crystal i'll test them let's put those over there i'm gonna clean and test them make sure they're nothing better pearls beautiful um gold plating on this i believe i don't see any markings i'll test it i just to make sure but it's a push box that's beautiful peacock pearls five strands you can wear them you know separated obviously or you can you know put that on the side whatever put them up like that or as i like to do them i think that pearls are great and then you can hang something very nice on the bottom of it i think they're great uh rolled up like this <coughs> freshwater peacock pearls beautiful <coughs> short string i'm gonna keep them for monday just so i have some pearls something to offer i think they're very nice um let me go to the costume since i'm switching adorable jerry's Jerry's, uh, Swan, Sign Jerry's, Vintage, G-E-R-R-Y-S, Scatter Pins. They have, uh, blue crystal eyes, and they're beautiful textured silver tone, little Swan Scatter Pins. Little Jerry's. Cute, I think. You can never pass something like that up. This is Kramer. I'm going to save this for Monday, because I don't get Kramer very often anymore. <laughs> Sign Kramer. And these are a Pave uh, style set uh, rhinestones in there. Pretty, look at like a free flowing ribbon, vintage Kramer brooch. That's amazing. Ooh, this one's for Monday because it is, because I got to test it. Pot metal look on the back. Beautiful, look at that. They look paste, don't they? They look like they were wet set. They're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color variation. Possibly some uranium. I didn't try gluing anything. Just beautiful, though. And there's the back. I don't know if the clasp was original on this or not. It looks like it is. I don't know the age on this. It looks like pot metal to me. I, I don't know the age on the pin. It's beautiful, though, I think. Look how the crystals glow. Or rhinestones, I... That's absolutely lovely. I will save that so I have something as such. Um, I have these two rings. These are amazing. These are both unsigned. This needs a clean job. This I call these blossom rings. It's a vintage Native American unsigned ring. And it's not real, real small. Surprisingly, it's a seven. It could use a wipe up. Mother of Pearl, unsigned, vintage Native American. Size seven. Needs wiped up a little bit, or I can leave it dirty if somebody wants it. It's nice. It's nice. They're getting harder and harder to find rings like that. <laughs> this is Mother of Pearl in it as well, unsigned Native American. The Mother of Pearl on this, look at the, look at the beautifulness of that. This really needs cleaned up too. These are both from the antique store. I'm not saying they're antique because we know they sell stuff. It's not. I believe they're vintage, like. 60s or something could be a little bit before they're not signed at all there's no markings this one is a five and a quarter and it's really beautiful you have like this little feather up here double shanked and it needs cleaned as well has not been cleaned the fun is in a little case that he had there beautiful stone necklace it's a strand <clears throat> i don't know what this is honestly it's strung on silk and knotted in between. It's definitely stone. Okay, I can look at it and try to figure it out. Um, hmm. Could be jade. I, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll look at it closer and I'll put it on my gem tester just to give me an idea of the range, like how hard it is or whatever. And then figure it out and sell it. 
It's really pretty. They're not real big. The, these are about a five, probably. The size of the beads are about a five. Let me see if I'm right on that. I have my cat little caliper right here. There are six. Six millimeter beads. Stone beads. Beautiful stone beads. I think they're beautiful. <clears throat> um, I have a lot over here, actually. Uh, I think these are really nice. Look, these are like doves going... These are garnet. I'm going to save these as well because I'm going to research them a little bit. Garnet and citrine, sterling silver and vermeil. They're really nice. I like the way they put the gold trimming around both stones. I think it makes them show up. The dove is a silver tone. Sterling silver and that part up there. But then you have the vermeil throughout. And they're opened in the back and they're beautiful citrine and garnet earrings. I think they're really nice. I'm sure that means something. Um, these are marked Thailand in 925. So we know they're not Native American. 925 and NF I believe means nickel free. I don't know. It could be a brand, but I think that's what that means. Because, you know, they mix other metals in with silver and gold. And sometimes they would mark it. Oh, my God, my phone's going to Okay. So, anyways, these are inlaid stone and those are blue topaz. They're side 925 Thailand back here. They have that, they're pierced. They have a nice safety piece that comes over. I think it's very nice. And uh, turquoise coral, lapis. Cornelian, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, it, they're nice, though. They are sterling silver. They are pierced. And they're signed Thailand and 925 in an NF. There's the back. Let me show you. Their nice earrings are open. The blue topaz are open. I don't think these are sterling, but I thought they were really pretty. Remind me of, like, this is something for Iron I believe they're... I have to test them again. But they're on this. The, uh, these are... I have to test them. This is stone. I don't think that is. Okay. I think the color is nice on them. I don't know if this is sterling. I will test it again. They ended up on the sterling tray, but I, for some reason, think they're not. Let me see if they're... <clears throat> I'll test them again before I sell them. I think they're really nice, though. I like them. And for the price of it, why not? That's a faceted... That's glass. This is testing its stone. I will test those before I sell them. I have to test this little fella. I see it's a little elephant. His enameling's worn off. Um, it says something up here. I don't know what. Like up in the corner. Looks like somebody may have tested him. Let's see if he has gold. I don't know what that says, if it was saying Spain or... But look how cute he is. I thought he was cute, so I grabbed him. You know, some looks like his enameling's worn off. He's a vintage little elephant pin. I don't know. Sometimes I buy things, and I don't know why. I think he's cute, though. <laughs> Hi, Fur Fur. There's the fur. Working our way in, doing our rounds. Ooh, I have these beautiful Vendome earrings. These are for Monday. i got to try to clean them up a little bit. They're really nice, actually. These are older um, faux pearls and clear rhinestones, Vendome uh, cl uh, clip earrings. They are signed Vendome in the back. They are the clip screws, like where you could tighten them. I thought they were nice. I'll save them for Monday. I have a couple more AB necklaces. Let me show I carried them with the AB. I have a big, beautiful one. I have to replace the clasp on that. If you saw it before, this is a double strand one. Double strand AB has rhinestones in the findings, J hook. So that is double stranded. This one's pretty. Um, there's it's a barrel clasp and nice long AB crystal. And then I have this beautiful little bracelet too. Those are AB. Um, I have another Kate Spade here. This is nice. This is gold plated in loose sight. Kate Spade necklace. Look. Ooh, 
It is Kate Spade, New York, I think. Yeah, signed Kate Spade, New York. Gold plating, and these are Lucite pieces. They're not crystals, they're actually Lucite. She does some Lucite jewelry. They're nice. It's a nice necklace. That is Kate Spade, New York. Beautiful, long, lovely. Nothing, it's clean, no fading, no no scratching, no beating up is what I mean by that. It's very pretty. That is Kate Spade. Very long, beautiful necklace. Furfer, what are you doing back there? Oh, you got locked in here. You're going to have to wait. Look up here. <laughs> She's getting mad. She's going to start screaming. These are nice, too. Look how pretty. Look at those beautiful little opalite rhinestones. Clip earrings. The clips are good. Gold tone. Very pretty little dangles. I think they're really pretty. They're unmarked as far as I can see. I thought this was nice. It's costume, but it's a, um, look at all that stuff there. I feel like maybe I should be done. This is a tie necklace. Um, I don't know if you can untie her. A bunch of beads. It's like very nice and buttery, but it's not sterling, okay, on this. Tassels. Um, nice braided up here. I didn't test it. I don't think it's true. It doesn't look like it, you know, tassel. So it's a nice tie necklace um, that does not have a clasp on it. So you've got, I have it doubled. It's nice. I think it's very pretty, stylish looking. I'll call it silver tone. There's that. Um, This is JCM, I believe. This is a nice crystal bracelet here. JCM stainless steel. I have to clean it up. They need a sticker on it. But it's all blue and clear crystals. Very beautiful. I'm going to save it because I'm going to research it a little bit. Let's see, it closes like that. JCM. It is stainless. It's still a beautiful brand. You have the clear and you have blue right, uh, crystals all throughout. Beautiful bangle. Lock. It yeah, has a lock on it. Clamper, I guess you could call it. I thought it was very nice, so I grabbed it. It looks like average size to me. Eh, about two and a half inches. It is average size. It's beautiful. It looks like sapphires and diamonds. JC Umbron. I have some. Oh, these are these are amazing, Monet. Um, for for hold on, you you got yourself in here. <laughs> These are patent pending. These are mid-century or earlier. Okay, Monet's been making jewelry for quite some time, as we know. They used to be more, um, I need to get into that. Okay, so there are clips, and these kind of remind me of a piece of corn. These are older, in the 50s, I believe. Well, I don't know. They have the tension clip. I don't know exactly how old they are. Let me get them hung up. <laughs> I keep on pushing them, trying to change the position, and I'm knocking them off. They have the tension clip, and it's good. I'll just leave them hang the way they want instead of trying to push them around. But they're gold tone, and they are signed. Look how that looks weird back there, like different than what it normally does. You know what I mean? That There's a patent on this. Signed Monet. They need cleaned up. I will wipe them off. If I need it, I will. Um, These are vintage Monet, mid-century, sometime around there. They're rare. I, you don't see them like that too often. Um, I have a little pair of, these are really cute, actually. Um, I have more silver and two, and I have onyx and a pair of pearls. These are crown trafari. These are cute. <laughs> they are acrylic crown trafari. These ones are um, mid-century time point with a copyright on them. But look. I'm sure this one, you hear my cat back here, she's getting mad. Really cute. Signs, Crown Trafari back here with a copyright. Gold tone, really cute. Slightly rare. I think they're cute. Mm, they could still go in there though. Not sure what this is. I don't even know why I bought it. I was hoping it was Bakelite. I don't know if it is. It's a saddle. There's the back. It looks like somebody glued that on there. It still looks older. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's plastic. I just bought it because it was there in the store and I didn't research it or anything. I'm not sure if it if it's Bakelite or not. It feels a little light. Okay. 
I thought it was cute, so I grabbed it. Um, this is Weiss. Signed Weiss back hair. Grapes. I'll save it just so I have a brooch to sell on Monday. Because I don't know what else I'm going to get. I may go up to the Antique Mall on Monday. But fully pronged, beautiful, clear, rhinestone, like grape cluster Weiss brooch. It's about two inches, an inch and a half to two inches. Um, these are J. King. Signed, sign, no, no, J, Kenneth J. Lane, sorry. KJL, they're signed. I think I just sold a bracelet like this not long ago. KJL, like the tiger enamel earrings. KJL with the copyright before DK. Okay. And no dots in between the KJL, just KJL. I can show you if you want to see. It's a KJL signature. They look good. They're cute. I'm going to keep them for Monday because I want to research the KJLs now. These are really, really amazing, Monet. Get down first. Stop. Okay, she's, I don't, I, I don't even like her in my jewelry room because she's hairy. Um, these are nice. These are tension clip. They're Monet. They have the tension clip. I think they're pretty amazing. That, they're nice, that piece there. Why not? May as well get more costume. These are crystal. And these are gold, like gold tone, gold plating. Don't know. <laughs> Beautiful, though. I don't know who the maker is. I don't see a name on them. Um... But they're definitely crystals. Look, three different colors. They're pretty. If you're looking for some earrings, if you have the Swarovski sets, these would go great if you have that color. Pink, purple, and blue. Beautiful. I don't know who the maker is, though, because I don't see one on them. But nice. Nice dangles. Um, these are little scarab earrings they are like a milk glass they are signed in the back with the hieroglyphics is what i mean by that i don't see a maker smart gold tone clips scarabs i got windy outside okay nice i think um let me get something off here beautiful this is amethyst triple amethyst this is signed I have to see if it's a, de is a designer. Um, it is signed India and YS925. I don't know who the maker is, but it's a beautiful ring. I had it on. I was able to fit it. It is right around the seven. Is that a little bit above the seven? Six and three quarters. Three different shapes of beautiful amethyst. They're not real dark, but they're, they're very nice. And... I think it's a lovely, I can't put it on there right now because I have my shape ring. Nice, nice, beautiful amethyst ring. I'll keep it till Monday because I want to research it. Um, these are Judith Jack. I'm going to keep these till Monday as well. These are amazing, actually. Uh, that is Judith Jack symbol back there, sterling. Okay, you see. These are lovely opals, uh, marcasites, and a clear topaz, I believe. They are sterling. They're signed sterling and JJ. Well, mommy's almost done, baby. She wants out of here. She comes in, she hangs out, and then she gets tired. I don't even know how the door got shut. I think I locked her out. I thought I locked her out. I don't I let her in my jewelry room because they get hair all over everything, and I don't want to send people packages. I try not to. Look how beautiful the opals are. Marcusites and opals. Beautiful. Sterling. Nice lever backs. Judith Jack, beautiful Paris earrings. About a two inch drop on them. Those will come Monday. I need to research them. I can't find them. I think they're the older Judith Jack. Um, these are for Monday too, these ones here. These, I, I, 950, I believe they say on them. It's so hard for me to see. Maybe I can enlarge it five times and we can look together. Let's do that because um, three times. It's a little bit bigger than my magnifying glass. I think it's 950. Look, Eva found me this at the, at the thrift store. It's from St. Jude's Chico's. Must have did a fundraiser like to donate to, uh, this is brass. And it's a nice new magnifying glass for mom because I busted my last one. I was so happy she found it. She found it on the wall. Okay, 
at C950, guys. Mylar 950, I believe. Oh, these are coming Monday. I gotta research them a little more. Look at them. I think they're like that Electroform, I think they call it. Kind of hollow. Beautiful, though. Mylar Italy 950 silver earrings. Like, they're nice. I believe that's what it says. Okay. Um, I have to test these again. Um, I didn't get a... I didn't test them, honestly. <laughs> I think they're nice though. Look how cool these are. They're wires. Look at the um this glass on here, how amazing it is. Pretty flowers. I don't know what the metal is, I'll figure that out. They're open in the back. They are wires, as you can see. And I think that dichroic glass, I guess. Very nice dichroic glass, actually. So those need retested. Let's put them in the middle with those. That's a lot of jewelry, isn't it? I'm not done yet. Oh, I feel like I, um, sometimes I feel like I go overboard. Um, these are site 925. It's sort of like a Southwestern type of thing. They're sterling. I did test these in amethyst. They're nice. They're closed back. Look. Amethyst cabochon set in there. Site 925 sterling. I think they're really pretty. I said they're signed 925. The wires are hooked onto there. Amethyst and sterling silver. Um, I have a little pair of, um, look at these little moonstone earrings. They're sterling, beautiful moonstone. Look at the flash. They have a nice flash. These are clear. Um, Labradorite moonstones, okay. Beautiful sterling silver. They're not real big. I thought they were very pretty though, so I didn't pass them up. I got these for Eva. These are little, I don't think she has a pair of amber earrings, little stir. I mean, and she's 14, you know, and she likes her post. She likes small earrings. Sterling silver and little amber studs for my check. <laughs> for Eva. I call her my check. These are, this is, um, pearls, really nice pearls. This is not a pearl, okay? That's signed silver, that's not sterling. This is, um, probably some kind of, I don't, I don't know. These are real, okay? These are freshwater Baruch pearls, uh, trip four strands. Like you have it, see how it's put together. That's signed silver with a gold plating over. I don't think it's sterling though. This is definitely not a pearl. These are Somebody got the clasp to put on there. I don't know if it's a self string or what. I have no idea. But they're really pretty. You've got one, two, three, four strands of beautiful Baruch pearls. Uh, the, and the luster's nice on them. They're, they're nice. They're freshwater culture. Okay. I think this is gold. I have my only piece of gold. I went to the place out of the way and it didn't have anything good this time. Um, thread of some sort. I think these are gold. I have to test it. Although, I don't know. Look at this marking. Maybe somebody knows what this is. Can you see that? I don't know what that is. But this is some kind of thread here. If it's not gold, it's like a gold plating. Okay, I'll figure it out. It's not sticking to a magnet and it's heavy. You have these two pieces on the end. You have the bead that changes the size of the necklace to thread hair, probably so it feels silky. And then you have beautiful garnet right there. These are beautiful faceted garnets and then these gold beads that are either gold or gold plated or gold filled. I'll have to figure that out before I sew it. So wait till Monday, cause I gotta figure it out, okay? And I think it's very pretty. It's a dainty necklace. Again, I'm not sure of the content of the metal at this point with that. <coughs> um. Garnet and sterling. For three pretty garnets. Lever backs. Sterling silver. Pretty garnets. They're open in the back. If those. I have more costume. Let's move to it. <laughs> These are crown trafari or just trafari? Let's see. They may just be trafari. These are a crown. These are nice. Crown trafari 55 to 1969 on these ones, okay? 
they have the crown on them. Let me show you. The crown is over the T. Okay. And so crowns for furry nice hoops. Like gold plating over here. Look. Clips. Nice hoops. Those are vintage. 55 to 69. Crowns for furry. Gold plated. Gold hoops. For furium. They called it. They created their own plating. I don't know exactly what's in it. I think it's a sterling. I didn't test it, though. I'll test the findings. I'll put it in the middle. Uh, beautiful. Uh, yeah, it looks. They, there's beads in between. Then you have these, like, little art glass beads, as you can see. Flowers. Beautiful blue crystal. That one will be a quick test. It's not hard to test it. Beads in between. Sterling. Pink crystal and beautiful flower art glass beads. I think that piece is sterling in all the beads. I'll test those real quick though. Um, I can't remember who this maker is and I should know and I probably have it saved in my maker's mark folder. Um, guys, it's not Kate Spade. I know that. Does anybody uh, Ann Taylor maybe? Does anybody know? Anyways, this is a beautiful necklace. Okay, that's why I got it. Look at this. Uh, I think it's nice. It's all in good shape too. These are like clustered. And then you have this beautiful ring with crystals. Very nice necklace with a toggle. And that marking that I cannot remember who it is. I'll have to go look in the identification makers thing. I'll find it right away probably. I started my own folder on my phone too. But there's that. I can't remember who it is. That's terrible, isn't it? Beautiful though. These are really pretty. I have to test a metal on them. So again, I do want to find the maker mark on that, so let's move it there. Um, I have to test the metal and stone on these. These look crystal, okay? I have to see if I'll test them. But hoops, okay. <laughs> nice, three-quarter. <coughs> a little bit more than that. Like almost a full circle. Look at that. And this is glass or crystal. I'll test it to see. I'll look at it. But they're nice earrings, I think. I think they're nice. They were underneath a bunch of stuff. Um, these are a lovely copper look, like cut beautifully um, at like diamond cut out. Uh, I don't know what the wires are. I'll look at them, test them, and put them in the middle here. Little like um, copper enamel diamond cut, beautiful flower earrings. They're dainty. I thought they were nice. Milk glass and clear rhinestone clips. No markings that I could see. Milk glass type up there or white glass. These are vintage clips. I thought they were pretty. They're gold tone. There's no maker's mark. I thought they were nice. I grabbed them. Um, I don't know who the maker is on these. These look like a Kramer or something. They don't have a maker's mark on them, but these are very nice actually. Gold tone textured and shiny uh flower earrings or one two three layers levels i don't see a marking not everything has a marking i thought this joan rivers i might have to see if this is a replacement for my daughter i one of hers the baby broke one davy broke one of crystals that she would wear on her lab coat and i haven't soldered it yet and i have to see if this would be a good replacement for her Beautiful little Joan Rivers bumblebee with crisp green crystals in the back. <sighs> Cute. This is pretty. Look at that. I don't see a maker's mark on it. It's very nice. Little, look how they're like pave style clustered set, whatever you want to call it. Gold plating. Look like clear crystals. Lovely little flower pin. I think it's beautiful. I have so much jewelry today to be added to the abundance. This is a nice set. It has a nice sterling silver uh, pearl clasp. This is strung on silk, knotted in between. Signed so sterling on the side. These are sterling beads. This is black onyx. I have a pair of earrings that match. It's a nice necklace. Beautiful uh, post in the back pair of stangle earrings. Sterling and black onyx as well. You go with it. It's a nice set. Thought it was nice. I have all these earrings. I thought these were going to be diamonds. They were cubic zirconians. Like beautiful sterling. I have two different sizes. 
and they actually look like diamonds. I'm going to have to look at them closer and check the metal as it's hard to read what it says on the side. But two pairs, one, if they are, I was going to give Crystal these and Mari the Eva these. Mari has gauges, so she can't wear anything like this. She was the uh, rebel of the family, guys. <clears throat> Anyways, beautiful. I'm going to look into them if I... Um, to make sure I think they could be diamonds I have to I have to make sure anyways there's those and these are beautiful sterling silver cubic zirconian square ones look how beautiful those are I think they're nice these are glass and sterling I like the color both pretty what else do I have anything else gold filled look at the beautiful I had two of these and one of them fell when I was out and about Beautiful little gold filled. It's a scatter pin. There were two of them, and one of them ended up on the ground or something at the place. I don't, or the lady didn't give it to me. She didn't take it out of the cart. All right, I'm almost done. Um, I have to figure out who this is. Somebody told me it could say Jewel Mint. Look, I don't, and I didn't test it. I have to test this. I'll put it in the pile of what needs tested. I think the guy said he, on the uh, page, he said Jewel Mint. I don't know. I'm going to test it. That'll make a big difference, right? I'm not sure. Somebody said Jewel Mint, Jewel Mint on the identification page, but it looks kind of sculptural. I don't know if it's really silver. I think it may not be, but I grabbed it. It wasn't a whole lot of money. I figured I'd... I like to wait, look down, check it out. It may be Jewel Mint, and I don't even know that company. I'm figuring it's a costume company. It sounds like it, but pretty clear. Frying stone clip earrings are pretty decent size. And these look like a Kendra Scott or something. Lever, lever back, lever back, whatever you want to say. I don't know who the maker is. And that is actually, I think it's glass. <laughs> kind of looks like a crystal. I think it's glass. It's pretty. I'll test those again. Look into them better. That's it. <coughs> That's what I have. A decent amount. I'll probably go back up Monday to I'll pre-sell some of this, like I said, if anybody wants any of it. And I will talk to you all later. All right. Have a good evening. Thank you for watching.